Becoming an officer in the United States Marine Corps is more than a career choice. It is a bold statement of intent. As a Marine officer, you will be trained specifically to lead and inspire. There is no greater path of distinction and no better way to test your mental and physical limits than becoming a Marine officer. The purpose of Officer Candidate School is to train, screen, and evaluate officer candidates for service as a company grade officer in the United States Marine Corps. There are several paths to earning the title of Marine Officer, including the Platoon Leaders Class, Officer Candidate Course, and the Bulldog Course, which includes prior enlisted Marines and NROTC students. Great Americans come to OCS. Somebody that wants to serve his or her nation. Someone that can inspire me. Officer Selection Officers help find and assist qualified applicants in applying for Marine officer programs and prepare candidates for the most demanding and thorough leadership training in the nation at OCS. Officer candidates who end up coming to OCS and making it are the folks that are looking for leadership, challenge, professional development, looking to do something above and beyond what, what they ever thought was possible. Candidates arrive at OCS from colleges around the country. The University of Texas, Harvard University, California, Berkeley, the University of Maryland, Georgetown University, George Mason University, Yale University, Yale Texas A&M, the University of Virginia, the University of Pennsylvania, and Miami University, the Arizona State, William and Mary, Fordham University, Pennsylvania State University, the Ohio State University. Although every candidate has a different reason for coming to OCS, they are all bound by the opportunity and challenge of leading Marines. I'm very patriotic. There's something that I wanted to do to serve my country. I learned how to do the 9 to 5 job, more interested in serving my country. I test myself. To help make the country a better place. To help higher calling. Be a part of something that is bigger than myself. To help those who can't help themselves. Push myself out of the comfort zone that I've lived in. I've got so much from this country, I just want to contribute. I want to give something back. I want to make a bigger difference. I love my country. For candidates, the training is a sharp contrast from life back on campus. You can never prepare yourself for that first week when you first meet your sergeant instructors and they come rushing at you. You can't prepare yourself for that. That's always a shock. At OCS, every event has a purpose. Here, Candidates must learn to act quickly and decisively in a stressful environment. If they can't do it in the squad bay, chances are they will not be able to do it in combat. At OCS, the candidates are evaluated in three categories. Your physical fitness, your academics, and your leadership. Obviously with leadership potential being the biggest thing that we're screening here. Every candidate is given the opportunity to lead, which enables instructors to evaluate potential and desire to lead amid conditions of chaos and uncertainty. Officer candidates are given the opportunity to hold billets, to be put in an environment where they have to make decisions, and they have to manage a group of their peers. You can't ask your men to do something that you're not willing to do yourself. Push yourself. Let's go. Run. As our nation's expeditionary force in readiness, Marine officers must be prepared to lead from the front in even the most inhospitable environments. Here, the weather is just one more obstacle the candidates will have to overcome to earn the title of Marine officer. The weather has a huge effect on the candidates. It's a constant test of their character and their bearing. On top of having to adjust to the rigorous days and the hard schedule, I've got to adjust to the weather as well. You're going to be cold, you're going to be wet, and you're going to be exhausted. Marine officers have always taken care of their Marines in every clime and place. From the chosen reservoir to the Kuwaiti desert. We don't get to choose where we fight. Hurry up! Officer candidate school will train officer candidates to be a tough Marine officer no matter what the climate. Over the training cycle, the candidates are put through numerous challenges that help the instructors gauge leadership potential including the Leadership Reaction Course, 
I'm gonna have you get on this first plank, see if you can reach into the sewer. The field exercise. Get that side up! And the small unit leadership evaluation. We are currently located at grid 96896281. Come on, rushing! Marine officers are expected to maintain the highest physical standards in order to effectively lead in any environment and set the example for Marines under their command. Stand by! Physical conditioning events include the physical fitness test, functional fitness, the muscular endurance course, the obstacle course, combat fitness test, and the endurance course. Let's go! Candidates are inspected throughout training by all levels of their chain of command. They are expected to show confidence, character, and mastery of the knowledge they have been taught thus far in the curriculum. Good afternoon, Staff Sergeant. Ken Armstrong, Force, South Dakota, Third Two, Farmer Run for Inspection. Good afternoon, Staff Sergeant. The Marine Corps has 14 leadership traits, you understand that? Yes, Staff yes, Sergeant. Name five. Aye, right, Staff Sergeant. Judgment, justice, bearing, courage, endurance. Step. All right. Confidence, you understand that? Yes, that's all. Confidence is the key in front of your men, you understand that? Yes, that's all. Not that hard, get a go? Yes, that's all. As important as leadership and physical conditioning are in the Marine Corps, a strong moral character is equally as important. Marines are held to the highest standard of personal conduct. The nation expects that from us. The importance of ethics is a foundation of who we are as Americans, how we define ourselves as Marines. We have core values honor, courage, commitment. The nation expects something more out of Marines. They expect the finest actions in both peacetime and combat. The Marine Corps fosters a culture of continual learning and academics play an important role at OCS. Academics is a vital part of becoming a Marine officer. You need to constantly be educating yourself. The candidates will be evaluated on a variety of subject matter, such as Marine Corps history, general military subjects, land navigation, drill performance, tactics, and weapons. In the final week of OCS, the candidates prepare to graduate. These young candidates out here will never, ever be the same. It's something that changes their life forever, where they become more concerned about the Marine on their left and their right than they are about themselves. This is the greatest war fighting organization on the face of the earth. I'm proud of you, God bless you, and congratulations on your many, many accomplishments. Semper Fidelis. I feel proud every time I graduate at Canada here at OCS. It's a part of me going with them. Nobody gives this to you. You earn it. I've been very lucky with what's been uh, given to me in my life. Be there at the end means a lot. While members of the platoon leaders class return to college to complete their degree and receive their commission, those candidates who already have their college degree receive their commission following graduation from OCS. Of the office of which I am about to enter. So help me God. Congratulations, second lieutenant to Charlie Company. You gotta take care of the Marines, okay? You gotta lead them, help them accomplish great things in life and they will follow you and they will take care of you because that's what Marine Corps is all about. Words just can't describe how proud we are of him today. I wouldn't say I'm a different person. I think OCS brings you out. Uh, I think that it's just you, but with an exclamation point on it now.
Officer Candidate School and the Basic School offer the toughest and most thorough leadership curriculum in the nation. The lessons you learn as a Marine officer will become the foundation by which you live and lead. There's no better laser training in the country or in the world. People don't come here for money. We are very selective, and you have to be here for the right reasons. The right reasons meaning you want to lead Marines. I'm looking for somebody that can inspire me, someone who can lead me. For more information about becoming an officer in the United States Marine Corps, contact your local officer selection officer or visit marineofficer.com.